He's been a cultural icon for as long as we care to remember. Oh, I'm a rockin' man. Rockin man. His flamboyance is legendary, and his costume designers are modern day artists. You can go burn down long before. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Elton John songs. All the clothes are trying to dance. For this list, we've chosen our entries based on a combination of the artist's fan favorites and their most commercially successful songs. Booyah! Number 10, I guess that's why they call it the blues. Don't wish it away, don't look at it like it's forever. We are 80s bound at number 10 for a record that's as depressing as it is delightful. The blues represents the reunion of Elton John with his long-term songwriting partner, Bernie Taupin. Taupin is said to have been inspired to pen the lyrics to this song by his then-wife, Tony Russo. And the song is applicable to near enough every loving, lustful relationship that anyone could ever have. It's an absence makes the heart grow fonder tune in all its sing-along glory. Number nine, can you feel the love tonight? There's a calm surrender to the rush of day. While Circle of Life is also an amazing cut. It's this love theme that was lavished with awards, which really stands out to us as the soundtrack to Disney's The Lion King. And can you feel the love tonight? It is where we are. John put music to Tim Rice's words this time, and the result is one of his most famous records. There's a time for if they only learn that the twist and kaleidoscope moves us all in turn. If you were born in the 90s, then this song will probably have you dreaming wistfully of your childhood. If you're older or younger than that, then it's still a classic. It's Simba's pride and our joy. Eight, Crocodile Rock. Another Topin John collaboration. This one pays homage to the rock and roll era that preceded it. Sir Elton himself has described the track as disposable pop and a ripoff while Topin admits that he wouldn't like to be remembered for it. But it has remained one of the most iconic songs of the 70s anyway. It's toe-tapping, body-jiving, escapist music at its very, very best. The kind of record that'll get anybody any age onto any dance floor. Number 7, Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting. It may not strike you as a typically Elton sentiment, and that's because it isn't. Whereas Topin would usually write his lyrics to represent John, these are very much from his own experience. A 
working class lad growing up. Saturday night and beer were the perfect combination. And dancing led to fighting very quickly. <laughs> John's vocals are a perfect angsty match though, and the guitar riff is about as iconic as any glam rock and roll hook out there. Number 6. Candle in the Wind Goodbye, Norma Jean Though I never knew you would all have the rest to hold yourself some songs truly reach iconic status, and Candle in the Wind is one such record. Oh, the press still have you, all the papers had to say, well, the Marilyn was found in the new. Originally recorded in 1973, the lyrics are specifically for Marilyn Monroe, but generally speak to all public figures who die young as well. Would you like to love you? John captured Topin's meaning with a perfectly melancholic melody, and his voice really understands the heartbreak of the words he's singing. Goodbye, Norma Jean, from a young man in the 22nd row. When the song was rewritten in honor of Princess Diana in 1997, an audience of 2.5 billion watched Elton's one and only live performance for England's Rose. Goodbye, England's Rose. May you well grow in our hearts. You were the greatest place to set where lives were torn apart. Number five, Benny and the Jets. Hey kids, shake it loose together. Spotlight something that's been known to change the weather. In the UK, this was originally released as a single with the previous entry, Candle in the Wind. But it was in the US that Benny and the Jets really became a standout track. Elton himself is said to have been completely surprised by the success it achieved stateside. The song prompted an appearance on Soul Train, and John remains one of only a few white musicians to have performed on the TV show. Chorus stutters and the song shudders with style. Number four, Rocket Man. She packed my bags last night in 1972, space travel was big, big business. It's lonely out of space. David Bowie had already proven that the space race translated into pop music with his 1969 album Space Oddity. And Elton galvanized the galactic theme with a signature sound and hook. A classic piano rock record, Rocket Man tells a lonely story of a spaceman who misses his friends, family, and real life. Balls ain't the kind of place. Raise the key. In fact, it's cold as hell. The message has often been projected onto the celebrity lifestyle, which is an equally alien world. Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. When are you gonna come down? When are you going to lie? 
It's a testament to just how strong Elton's discography is that this song should only take third. Another composition where songwriter Tobin writes from his own experiences rather than Elton's. It's a track that retraces the steps to fame and fortune and wishes to rewind time. John's vocals are quite phenomenal here though, as he bounces between high pitched and low tones with apparent ease. Oh, I find a sad and spectacular all at the same time. A wonderful wizarding record. Number two, Tiny Dancer. Seamstress for the band. It's the longest record on our list and an all-round beauty of a ballad. Jesus freaks out on the street and then tickets out for gone. Written by Topin following his first visit to America, it pays homage to the beautiful, carefree girls of California. The pair had never come across such women in the UK, and Topin felt he must memorialize them in verse. LA Lady seems just for the band. Dancer was a big hit and is an almost ever present addition in any Elton show. All the clothes up time to dance. Count the headlights on the highway. It also confirmed him as a superstar after he'd broken through with our number one record. You had a busy day today. But before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. song. It's a little bit funny, this feeling inside. John Lennon described it as the first new thing since the Beatles. And your song is widely regarded as one of the best British records of the era. If I was a sculptor, but then again, no, or a man who makes potions in the Travel and shoe. A track that was written and composed by John and Topin within a day, it altered the landscape of music and ushered in many more emotional chart efforts. Tis my song, yeah, and this one's for you. The lyrics are almost immature, but so appropriate at the same time. It may be quite simple, but now that it's done. I hope you don't mind, I hope you don't mind. Your song is our song, his song, and her song. And it's essential, exemplary Elton. How wonderful life is while you're in the world. Do you agree with our list? Oh, no. What's your favorite Elton John song? And it shall be on, and it shall be a good man. For more era-defining top tens published every day, 
be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Peace, shout!